Hello, this lecture is about creating a database and table of content which used to collect employees' detail. Then we will use it to create a basic C sharp. Open the server, SSMS. Then I'll log in with SQL Server Authentication Mode. Put in user ID and password and connect. In order to create a database, go to Database folder under the Object Explorer window. Right-click at the database. Select New Database. Now, I'm creating database to store employees' details. Name as Employee. For the options part, I will not select collection. I will not specify the fonts. You can use whichever fonts you have used before. There are so many fonts you can select. Now, I'm using default. I will not set the font. Click OK. Hit refresh by right click at database. Expand it. Then you'll see the name of your new database. Let's see if I can change the name. Right click and select rename. Now I want to change the name of my database. I change the name to employee database. Then refresh again. I changed the name here to avoid the confusion with the name in the table. I added the database in the end so I will know that it is the database. Once we created the database, there are many subfolders. Depends on the details you want to store. The first content we want to store is general information, name, address, telephone number, sex. Go to the subfolder named Tables. Right click and select New Table. Name the column. First column is Auto ID. If you don't have many information to store, you can select Int in Data Type. Right click in front of column name. Then set primary key. Because we want this column to be primary. Then go to column properties below. You can expand the window by making the double headed arrow. Hold the cursor and expand. I will change identity specification. I will change here. Below. You see identity increment. Change it to 1. I'm not recommending any other changes. Just change, is identity, to yes. That's it. Shorten the window now. Now we have one column named, auto ID. Apart from auto ID, I will store, names, surnames, emails, positions, telephone numbers and departments. I urge you to not store too much information inside the database. Because it will take you a long time to develop. You might get discouraged. In the beginning, you can have 4 to 5 columns. Next, we will create next column. First name to store first names. Data type, and varchar. If the first name is long, you can set it to 25. If the first name is too long, the program will show error and you will have to make change here. We are not using long name now. Next column is, last name. Same here. Set the length the same as first name. 25 characters. Next column is, emails. You can copy and paste from the top by using, Ctrl C and Ctrl V. You can set character length to 30. Next column is, job title, or position. Let's set character length to 30. You can make change later. Next column is, phone. Character length is 30 as well. If your employee has more than one phone number, you might have to set character length longer. I'm setting the character length to 30, just to show you an example. When you store your employee information, you have to see what fits for you. Let's review the columns. First is, Auto ID, which is primary key. First name, last name, emails, job title, phone. 
last column will be linked to department, which I will teach you later on. Create column named, department ID. Set data type to, int. In the beginning, you can check allow nulls. Only two columns cannot be allow nulls. First name and last name. Then save by using save all, or right click at the table tap. Select save. Name it as, employees, or you can use employee tbl, but I will use this name. It's easy to understand, I'm not using any abbreviation. Just plain English, employees. Now we have ourselves employee table. Close it. Refresh table. Expand the table by clicking the plus. You'll see employee table. If you want to make change or set new, right click and select design. It will show you the table you have just created. For example, your employee has many phone numbers, you can set the character length to 50. Then save by using save all. You will see the notification window pop up. Close it. Go to tools, and select options. Go to designers. On your right, you see, prevent saving changes that require table recreation. Unclick the box. So, when you make any changes to your table, it will not show the notification pop-up. Go back to your table and try saving again. Now you can make changes, and save. Let recap one more time. Go to tools and select options. Select designers on your left hand side. Unclick, prevent saving changes that require table recreation. Then click OK. I will finish this lecture here, we will create another table in the next lecture. Thank you so much.